house just above it that's a vineyard of mr dinglinger and you will hear the name dinglinger again when you go to the treasury because he was the court goldsmith under augustus the strong and probably he, there he had one of his good inspirations when he was in his vineyard had a glass of good wine over there to your right you see all those three elbe palaces on top of the slopes they were built in the second half of the 19th century for very different people the right one is the youngest really it's a it's called Eckberg Corner Mountain. It was built for an English merchant. That's why the English Tudor style was those little towers. Today it's a hotel. The one in the middle, it's called Lingna Palace, also after the after the last owner, August Lingner. August Lingner is famous in Dresden, especially for the fact that he founded one of our famous museums, the Museum of Hygiene. And he invented the mouthwash Odol. With the mouthwash Odol, he became one of the richest men of dress. We call him the Odol King. And the third here to your right now, it's called Albrecht's Mountain. It was built for the Prussian Prince Albrecht. And it has 100 rooms, a Turkish bath, and in front of it on the slopes, a Roman bath. And you see the river, the wide meadows, those meadows are so popular for walking, for cycling. You see all the cyclists down there? They cycle on the Elbe Cycling Trail. It's the most popular long distance cycling trail of Germany. It starts at the Czech border, goes all the way up to Hamburg, more than 800 kilometers long. Yes, you can always, no mountains, you see, great landscape, fantastic. But those meadows are not only nice, but mainly here because they are very helpful because if there are floods, they take the water, the river can spread across those meadows, they form the natural flooding area of the river, it is forbidden to build there. So ahead to the right, you see now this big bridge, it's called Forest Palace Bridge after an old brewery across the river you see a big bright building with a big red roof that's the building of this old brewery after which the bridge is named you see already quite well the shape how it will look like when it's finished and you see this bridge brought us much trouble with the unesco the elbe valley the landscape of the river here the elbe valley was a world heritage by the unesco but the 